Greetings guys, Jay Smith here. I'm looking forward to today. It's Mizuno day. I've received a parcel. It's got three things in it. Two drivers, one fairway. The fairway will come afterwards. It's two driver day. It's the ST190, ST190G. I was looking forward to these for a little while. So Mizuno are really pushing the hype on how good these things are. It'll be interesting to see how good they actually are. They've changed materials and bits and pieces. We're gonna get into that in a little bit. We're gonna go to the studio first chat about all the tech involved in these new heads to see if they can really keep up with the likes of Callaway and TaylorMade which has always really been known as like the within reason the kings of distance. As you know pushing this year there's been a lot of hype so let's see go see the studio and see what difference they've made this year. <laughs> got the Mizuno ST190 head. No G, this is the standard normal head. No adjustability, so when it comes to the sole, as you can see there, you've got one weight there for optimized center of gravity. You've got the continuation of this wave technology. So you have like uh, the Mizuno, I think it was the CLKs had it, the 900s had it, I think the 850s had it as well. The, the idea of having that like concertina ribbed sole um, allows the bottom of the face to flex. If you're gonna hit off the bottom, of the face. Um, it allows the bottom of the face to flex rather than hitting into a solid sole. Um, it just gives you a little bit more extra ball speed, kind of, let's yeah, say, all the manufacturers are making their own little ideas to try and what some people called years ago was cheating, but hey, technology, it's there for a reason. Um, I don't really use it, I use the high toe, so I don't use the bottom. But you've got the SP700 forged titanium Cortec face. <laughs> Basically, the, the Cortec is Mizuno's uh, name for their face design. Other manufacturers have got their own. Um, they have managed to squeeze as much out of the, of the face as they ever have, also with reducing weight. That weight they've managed to obviously place in certain areas. When it comes to the head, top part, it's a carbon composite crown. It's the first one, or not quite sure, it might be the MP001 that did have a composite crown. Comment below if I'm right or wrong. So this thing only weighs now 12 grams. They've managed to get seven grams of weight for the old titanium head, again, to pop it in places where they most want it. Inside the head, you've got something called Harmonic Impact Technology, HIT, um, that basically makes it sound better. A lot of the carbon headed design uh, clubs, drivers, that manufacturers have made uh, since their first incarnations. Well, okay, I think it was the Callaway FT3 that had one of the first ones, but they noticed straight away that the sound wasn't quite what people wanted. So no different, like Mizuno are making their own and it'd be interesting to see how much difference this actually makes. Obviously you can't see that, it's inside there. So yeah, so that's the face done, that's the sole done, that's the crown done. Let's go outside in the out, um, outdoor hitting teaching bay and let's see how this thing feels off the face. Right guys, outside now in the outdoor teaching bay, two cameras on, cod on the floor. FSX Mobile, as always, capturing this lovely information so you can see where they go. Um, again, I'm gonna complain, it's cold. God, oh, summer will you come? <laughs> I'm such a wuss. Um, right, I've already done, I've done the GT, oh, I keep saying that, ST190G first, because I'd already hit it previous in the year. I've never hit this. Now, I've got this in the same shaft as the G. We're just going to call it G. Um, it's the Atmos, Fujikura Atmos 5S. There you go. I'm obviously S stiff, 5 are probably within the 56 gram, something like that. Don't know. Doesn't matter. Um, but for the purists out there, it's in the same shaft. Now, I haven't hit this head before. Um, so. I don't know necessarily how it feels or anything. I do know about the G because I did have a little sneaky peek. Um, there's no difference when it comes to the looks between the, the G and the normal ST. There's, there's, when you put them down by 
at the side of each other, you couldn't tell if one is the G and one's the standard normal. So this is low spinning, that's low spinning as well. Um, obviously this got no movable weights whatsoever. It just got that weight at the back. Um, and then you've got all the little tech, lovely SP700 face, hit technology. Now I did feel, actually saying that though, when it comes to the G, I did feel that hit harmonic impact technology. Yeah, basically, it's acoustics. Well, um, I think Taylor Made brought out that kind of idea. It was a geoacoustic when the first M2 try and make it sound better. And to be fair, because this is obviously carbon. This is the first one that obviously Mizuno have not gone carbon before. They've gone still titanium. And um, yeah, so they can sound a bit dead. So I'm interested to see, this has still got HIT. <laughs> oh, I so many jokes. Um, let's see how it feels. I was hitting the uh, G fairly middle but i know this is my if i get this right i know this is would be the club that that would give me the longest the old 180 was just a little bit too um low spinny i was trying it was very very hard to dial in i've just dialed this straight from a nine nine and a half yeah nine and a half head down two degrees to seven and a half so let's hit this one anyway and then we'll get an idea of how i'm striking it Yeah, it's, the strike's changed. Oh, where did that one, that's right. Well, I've got this working, yeah. That's cool, that's capturing. The worst thing you can do is one of these videos and then sort of like, oh, I haven't pressed record on the screen thing. Yeah, All right now, did it go a bit left? Yes, it did. I'm starting to tow these. That, that felt toey, you can feel that. Felt good though. I know. I'm encouraged that I'm starting to hit toe, ball fell off. I'm encouraged that I'm starting to hit toe because I know for me and how I deliver, the toe is gonna to be the most efficient place for me to hit. Now I'm not saying right off the end of it, I'm saying a functional part of the toe because it's traveling faster. And because I have a, well, a unique delivery. You'll be able to see it anyway. But I like that. Do I prefer, I don't, it's only one shot, I don't know. Let's hit another one. That tea's gone. <laughs> That's nice. Don't worry about that tea. I like it. I do like that. Ooh, what do I, do I like it more than the G? Oh, I don't know, because I know, all, if I would say yes, it, it would be influenced because I know that my strike point is getting toey, which means I can get my maximum numbers from one of these which is encouraging me, which might be swaying me somewhat, because I, it looks with that black head, it's shiny black with that little weave, that, that carbon weave that they've got in there. Now a little white lipstick line around the outside. What did it say? Mizuno Speed Tech. There you go, Speed Tech. ST, Speed Tech, there you go. What about the G then? Speed Tech, get uh, answer on the postcard. Right, two more. I like this. Do I like it more? Do I like it more? I would have to say yes. Because I know this could get long. <laughs> I do. I think this could get long. If I'm, I've got one more ball and I will hit it. But I am so looking forward to get that in there and testing it. Because I've got a feeling this one could be... Because the spin is coming down. I mean, the original, I think the G was spinning up at 3.3, three, I think on average, if I remember. There's a range ball, so you don't really know. But, oh, last one. I do like the look of that as well. The little silver running bird logo on the top, little Mizuno logo, looks lovely. And I'm not biased, by the way, people. Before you go, are you? Because you're saying Mizuno. You guys know that I'm quite happy to say anything good or bad about any driver. I did not like the GT from last year. I put that one out there. I like the ST, but it was a pain in the backside to try and fit for me, which is normally not me at all. I found that one very, very sensitive. Um, the GT, I just didn't understand what the weights really did because they didn't do anything whatsoever. Different to this, and it also feels a lot better. I think it's because of the carbon, the carbon on the top, and then a little bit of HIT can't forget the bit of HIT, but a TV, I'm joking aside, it does actually make it feel lovely. Last one. Oh, I'm so looking forward to getting that on a real ball. 
I am so looking forward to get that on a real ball. Right, let's stop talking. I want to go indoors now. I'm going to hit a lot because I'm encouraged by this. I like this. Mizuno, you know, that's good. Right, let's go hit some. See how premium ball works. Get my Vice Pro on the quad. See how it works. And I'm encouraged to see how well this performs. Let's go in the studio after that and then let's chat numbers. Okay, guys, after hitting a load of shots, 30 plus shots with the ST190. This one's set at seven and a half degrees. As low as it'll go. Um, before I go too much into the testing, all the numbers and see how well it performed, during testing, this happened. Hi guys, don't normally do this. But I'm doing the test for the new Mizuno ST190 driver. That's enough of that. And then um, this happened. Yep, yeah, that's the head data. Yep, that's 300. Enough said. Anyway, let's get to the rest of the data so you'll understand and input in context all this. So, get to the numbers page. Right, ball speed, 157.7. So, very encouraging. I'm normally in the low to mid uh, 150s. That's up to nearly 158. But you can see it moves around. I don't stay the same every single time by no stretch of the imagination. Um, but yeah, I'm launching at 15 degrees. So, on the top end of what I want to launch the ball at for maximizing carry and um, roll and bounce and all that lot. Uh, 0.5 to the right uh, with a little bit of draw spin to the left again. With Interesting thing, the, the spin, 2025. Now, this one is the mid to low spin. Mizuno are saying that this head here is mid to low spin. Yeah, now also when it comes to, I've got the other head here, I've got the ST190G. They're saying this is the lower spin. And in, yeah, you'll be able to see by my ST190 video the difference between spin slightly, but there you go. Um, slight difference in there. But um, peak height um, going up to uh, 39, which means my descent angle is dangerously close to 40. I don't want it going over 40 because if you get too much descent angle, then you're going to maximize carry, but you're not going to get any kind of bounce, bounce roll. And of course, that does change depending on ground conditions. In the summertime when it's rolling, you don't mind that coming in a bit lower because that will chase. And in the wintertime when it's soft, you want that extra height because you're, you're not you're not going to get much roll at all so you want to maximize carry. Um yeah so um 9 yards off to the left bearing in mind that I, for these clubs I feel that these for me want to go if anything like if they're going to miss they're going to miss left. And you can see there by if I look at the um how far I do when I've got a couple of there that I do move around. Um when it comes to accuracy um this one for me doesn't feel quite as accurate as the ST190G. It's an interesting one. It could be on the day, I don't know. But um, yeah, this one just feels like it wants to move a bit more. And you can see that I moved like 30 yards, uh, 33 yards there, missed fairway. You've got 25 yards, which is probably going to be missed. Anything in sort of like the mid to high 20s, you're looking at missed fairways, depending on if you're if it's a consistent miss. Um, but yeah, 284, 284 <laughs> average carry going at 308 total, but 284. But you don't not forgetting that one four, four from the bottom, I think it is, um, 299. Now FSX rolled it down to 299, but as you can see there, when it's on the screen on the quad, that said 300. And as far as I'm concerned, that's 300. Um, and looking at, you can see my uh, total goes out there top there, 318, 316, really, really very, very healthy. Anyway, let's go look at the um, club of data so you can obviously prove that I'm not swinging at 120 miles an hour to get that. Um, on average, 111.3. So I'm within one miles an hour of my 110 that I want to stick to. Efficiency 1.42, not too bad. Um, 6.7 up, I hit very healthy on the way up. Uh, 0.5 into out, 0.7 closed. That is boring. I mean, if you look at the rest of my deliveries and they scroll up, I mean, there's there's plenty more at the top here. This is about as much as I can get on the average part. Um, I'm very, very close to being. I have the odd occasional slight over closed or whatever it be. Um, but what thing does move around for me is my strike. Now, I'm 
average 20 degrees of dynamic loft that's a lot so i do need to hit up on it quite a lot hence the reason why as soon as i get these things the first thing to do is get that loft straight down to its lowest number um yeah seven mil toe one mil high but you can see that i do move around because i'm not a robot i just move around the strike my face to path delivery is generally very very good but if anything my strike will move around a little bit but um yeah that is an extremely healthy um data set for 111 miles an hour and i'm getting i mean even even if we look at that one where i got 299 161 um if you round it up uh, miles an hour that is yeah i have never and this is thing for when it comes to testing uh, equipment and all the drivers that i have ever tested i have never carried a golf ball 300 yards under normal conditions yes i've carried the golf ball 300 yards before but i am hitting all out as hard as i possibly can just for fun to see how far something will go this is the first club in ever in, i've ever tested in normal conditions to get that figure i was very very surprised and if i've got that potential out of this thing if i can control but play with it a bit more understand its tendencies of flight and its misses etc this very way it, it might get into the bag and that might I, I if people know me i am a stickler for something i love my my ping g30 ls tech and this might yeah not quite sure on that but um that has got potential that might go in the bag that i am that impressed with that feels lovely the carbon composite hasn't ruined the feeling whatsoever in the sound that harmonic impact stuff inside has made it sound like a proper driver not often this dead noise but again that's personal perception um yeah so i am yeah out of the two not quite sure which one i'd have either the st190g or the uh, the normal one if i was going for distance this one straight away if i was going for potential uh, dispersion the other one tended to be slightly a little bit more tighter but then again i just need to think of play a little bit more around with that to work it out a bit more so hope you liked the video if you did click that like button below just click it anyway because i managed to get one 300 um subscribe below there's a little red button down there click that also when you're down there click the little bell icon that will notify you when i upload things like this to my channel so you won't miss out on as i said comment below Hope you liked it and we'll see you again soon.